Okay guys, I debated whether I should even have this video since I don't have a lot of time in the saddle of this bike. Um, just to let you know, this is the Howl Boost Moto Bacane 29er. It has the GX uh, derailleur and drivetrain. It has the Monarch rear shock. It has the RockShock Pike uh, fork. The shifters are GX, the brakes are um, Shimano XT, it's I think I called it M8000, uh, 180 millimeter rotors, you'll see some shiny parts on the, on the sides of the frames and whatnot, and that's for me putting plastic on it, um, especially where I stick it on the bike rack or the car carrier or whatever. Might as well try to keep it nice, um, at least for a while. The, uh, the thing I can tell you about this is uh, I'm six foot one, 210 pounds, and uh, I opted for the extra large frame that I think on the Bikes Direct page uh, says you should be about 6'2 to 6'4, 6'5. This uh, bike seems to fit me very well. I got 34 inch reach, uh, 34, 35 inch inseam, and uh, the cockpit is uh, fairly compact. Overall, the bike is longer than my last bike, which was a hardtail, um, but the cockpit feels really similar in what I really am comfortable in. As far as the frame goes, it's a Taiwanese frame, just like I think most bikes are now. The welds, the construction, everything looks really good. Um, I'm really happy with that part. I'll take a kind of pan around here so you can kind of see it. Um, the wheels are uh, WTB STI 2.3. I think that's the number. I think those are kind of mediocre wheels, but you know, when you're getting all these good components they gotta they gotta make some money someplace so those are probably 200 250 dollars a pair of wheels and hubs um, otherwise like I say the fit and finish is really good and the fit for me is good I'm glad I got the extra large versus the large so in my uh, experience with bikes direct I'd almost go up a size than is recommended if, if you're a, somewhat of an avid rider, which I guess I consider myself that. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I can certainly try to answer them, and I'd be happy to help anybody who's looking. Uh, this does have the internally routed dropper seat posts. It's KNS. I forgot the model now. It's $100 dropper seat post, but it seems to work really well. Um, I never had that on my last bike, and I... The, few little bits I've ridden this bike it seems like a really nice feature so that is about it I'll include some still pictures that I took while I was putting it together I had the bike shop finish up the derailleur tuning and everything for me in the kind of the uh, uh, the beginning shock adjustment just because I'm new to rear shocks it's not all that complicated really you could certainly do it yourself um, but they charged me, I think it was about, between that and then they, I made the tubes, uh, uh, the tires tubeless. And I think it was around 140, 150 bucks, which I thought was kind of a lot, especially when I brought the, the bike to them, probably 85, 90% assembled and ready to go. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, it's a really nice bike and I couldn't have uh, touched a bike with this component group for, uh, I'd have to spend probably another eight, nine hundred dollars, I think, possibly more than that. So that's it. Signing off. Have a great day. Talk to you later.